power in his strength. The Lord in his power in his strength. Going to manifest the Lord in his power. Going to manifest his power. Power in our lives. Power in our lives. Power in our lives. Power in our lives. And I'm the living God for you tonight. The living God for you tonight. Whatever challenges that you may be going through. Whatever difficulties, whatever may be the plot and the plan of the enemies, the Lord is going to say to you, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, 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 yes. It's okay. It's like the the mic is echo. It's echoing. I just. I just, I, I, I just, I, I, I just believe God for every one of us that tonight there, there is going to be a, 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 a plus. Tonight there is going to be a visitation. Tonight there is going to be an upliftment. Tonight, tonight everything that is unshakable in your life, in your spiritual life, in your social life, the Lord will move Moses out. You will be set free. You will be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. So please, as we as we are logging in into the prayer conference, I want you to prepare your mind, prepare your soul, prepare your spirit. Because every prayer point we are going to pray tonight, the great God will send deliverance, He will send the power of God into your life, and He will shake away whatever needs to be shaken away, and you will be connected, and you will be liberated, and you will enjoy the peace of God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray together. Let's let's have a word of prayer together. Our God and our Father, mm. we thank you once again for another opportunity. You are giving us to come before your presence, to come before your throne, and to come to pray, and to come to seek your face. Our God and our Father, we are asking tonight that as we come to, together to seek your face together, we are asking and praying, Father, that let there be the manifestation of your presence in our midst. Let there be the manifestation of your power I will pray tonight, may you connect every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. We are, we are asking and praying that our brethren that need to join us, as they all get connected with us tonight, we are asking and we are praying, King of Kings, the Lord of Love, we are asking and praying your spirit power, your spirit of grace we pour your spirit upon every one of us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. The, Bi the Bible says, I will pour upon the house of David the spirit of prayer and supplication. We are asking and praying tonight that you pour upon us the spirit of prayer and the spirit of supplication in our lives in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please, I want to hear your response so that I will know that you are connecting. You are here seeing me. This is Zoom prayer meeting. I said, in Jesus' name, we pray. We pray. Amen. 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 
I want you to also open our mouth to begin to appreciate God. Let the Lord bless the Lord all my soul and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Give God the glory for what God is going to do tonight in His great peace. Give God the honor because of God's manifestation of power in our midst tonight. I want you to open your mouth to appreciate God. Open your mouth to praise the Lord and give Him the glory because tonight the Lord is going to show forth His power. Praise the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Praise His holy name. Give God the praise, give God the glory. Is the ancient of days, is the king of kings, is the lord of lords, is, is the I am that I am, is the unbeatable, is the unchangeable, is the greater than the greatest, is the, un, is, is, is the lord of hosts. Worship the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Give God the praise, give God the glory, because the God of heaven is going to reach out to you tonight, because God and heaven is going to visit you tonight. Give him the glory, give him the honor. Whatever need to be shaken out of your, of your temple, the Lord will shake it away. Whatever need to be eradicated, the Lord will eradicate those things away. Whatever you have called them now, and that need to be broken tonight, God is going to break those covenant tonight. Bless him for what he's going to do. Worship him for what he's going to do. Adore him for what he's going to do. Give him the glory. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, give him the glory. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Because God is holy temple, because God is going to manifest his authority, because God is going to walk in your life, give him the glory. Oh, praise the Lord, oh my soul. Lord, that is within me. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. God is good, and God is going to show forth his power in your life. Is going to show forth his goodness in your life. Is good to manifest his power in your life. Praise the Lord because the Lord is interested in your case. Praise the Lord because you are not abandoned. Praise the Lord because God is going to step into your situation. Praise the Lord because God is going to remember you. Praise the Lord because God is going to lift you up. Praise the Lord because God is going to manifest his light into your life. Praise the Lord because there is going to be a falling around tonight. Praise the Lord because the God of all power, God of all grace, is going to walk mightily, walk powerfully, and make you to be what you ought to be. It will be a night of a night of remembrance in your life. It will be a night of upliftment in your life. It will be a night of the supernatural power of God in your life. You will not be the same again. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I have told you tonight is going to be as I as I'm going to bring this series to an end tonight. For well, about three, about four weeks ago, we have been in a series of deliverance. And we have been in a series of how we can overcome and destroy and root out all the all the um, plot and plan of the devil and their altar and their covenant. And as I'm going to bring this series tonight, to a close tonight, you are going to experience complete freedom from every stubborn pursuer in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want you to, the Bible says, if I regard in it in my life, the Lord will not hear me. I want you to commit yourself into the hands of the Lord. Whatever what will hinder you tonight, whatever what will be the stopping block that will stop your blessing tonight, let the blood of Jesus cleanse it out of your life. Let the blood of Jesus purify it out of your life. The Bible says, 
if I regard iniquity in my life, the Lord will not hear me. The Bible says, who give himself on us, that he may redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous unto good work. We are going to pray tonight that the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary will redeem you. The efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ will purge your life. Call upon the Lord. Ask the blood of Jesus to purge you, to cleanse you, to purify you, to wash you to away from every spot, every wrinkle, every blemish tonight, so that nothing will hinder your prayer. So nothing will hinder your prayer tonight. Tonight you are going to experience freedom. Tonight every stubborn pursuer that refuses to let you go tonight, they are going to surrender tonight. But you need to purge yourself. You need, you need to cleanse yourself. You, you need to, to wash away every spot in your life. The prince of this world called me. The Bible says, he find nothing in me. Make sure no anger in your life. Make sure no sin in your life. Make sure no wickedness in your life. Make sure no stubbornness in your life. The prince of this world called me. He find nothing in me. Purge yourself. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Because we are lodging in. We are going to pray for we are not in right now. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus purify you, cleanse you, purge you as you lock in to, to, to real warfare. You will experience freedom. All those bad dreams will go out of your life tonight. There is power in the house tonight, power to deliver. There is power in the house tonight, power to liberate and to bring you free from every stubborn pursuer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we thank you because tonight we are going to fight kingdom against kingdom. And we bless your Amen. name because victory is sure because Jesus Christ has overcome for us already. And Father, we are asking tonight, we are praying tonight as what we exalt ourselves through the word of God. We pray, oh God, you will inject victory and dominion upon every a city palm on this prayer conference in Jesus' name. Amen. We, 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 we pray that the Holy Ghost will descend upon every one of us tonight. And the Holy Ghost will energize everybody. And I pray, may you pour the spirit of prayer and supplication upon our life and give us understanding as we want to exhort briefly to the word of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Please, I want you to be able to listen very well because this series, I'm bringing the series to an end today. In Jesus' study, we'll start new series next week. But as I want to run this series tonight, I'm talking about overcoming stubborn pursuer. Overcoming, do you understand? Overcoming, stubborn pursuer. Now, as I bring this series to an end, as we look at this study, this uh, this message, overcoming stubborn pursuer. Do you remember in Exodus chapter fourteen, when the children of Israel went to Egypt, and God told uh, send Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go, let my people go. And Pharaoh refused to allow the people to eventually. Pharaoh, Pharaoh uh, allowed the people of God to leave Egypt. As the people of God left Egypt, they were praising the Lord. They have, they have left Egypt. And little did they know that this Pharaoh and his host and Egyptian, they were stubborn. And this Pharaoh and, the, uh, and all his cohorts, they will not let go easily. They follow hard. They pursue the Israelites again after they have allowed them to go. What I, what I want to say is this. After your salvation, after your deliverance, the devil is still after you. I took my text from Exodus chapter 14, from verse, 20, from verse 21. Exodus chapter 14, from verse 21. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong fixed wind. All that, all that night, and he made the sea dry land, and the water were divided. Verse 22. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the water were 
to war unto them on their right hand and on their left, on their left. And the Egyptian pursued after they have after they came out of Egypt. Verse 23. And the Egyptians pursued and went after them to the midst of the sea, even of Pharaoh's ox and his chariots and his oxmen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked upon the horns of the Egyptians and took the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the hosts of the Egyptians. Tonight, God is going to trouble the hosts of your enemy. Tonight, God is going to trouble the hosts of the Egyptians. Verse 9. And the enemy said, that is it in Exodus chapter, chapter 15, verse 9. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide this poor, and the Lord shall be satisfied upon them, and I will drive my sword, and I will draw my sword, and my hand shall destroy them. Now, in these two uh, verse, uh, books, Exodus chapter, uh, chapter 14 and Exodus chapter 15, here in chapter 14, Israel received deliverance. They came out of Egypt. And they are going to the promised land. But then, the stubborn pursuer, the enemy, though they allow them to go, though they say you have now liberty to be free from the bondage of slavery, though they give them the license that we are not we are not uh, having authority to over you again, though they give them the deliverance ticket, no more sickness again, no more tuberculosis again, no more affliction again, and go and enjoy your prosperity, go and enjoy your freedom, go and enjoy what you claim to, you, you, what you claim it belongs to you. But do you know the enemy did not give up easily? Do you know Pharaohs and all the hosts of Egypt do not give up easily? They still pursue, they went, they follow the children of Israel after the, in verse 23, verse 14 of Exodus, and the Egyptian pursue after their deliverance. Hmm. That is why we are talking tonight. Overcoming stubborn pursuers. Overcoming stubborn pursuers. Do you see people pursuing you in your dream? Sometimes you, sometimes you sleep in the night. You see a masquerade pursuing you. You see some, some policemen pursuing you. Or so many people have been pursued but many do not even know it. So long as you spend all your time running from evil pursuer, it will be very difficult for you to accomplish anything significant with your life. The spiritual energy that you should have used to accomplish great things is used up in running from your pursuer. This is nothing new. Because the Bible said, we see that so long ago, stubborn pursuers, stubborn pharaoh, stubborn Nebuchadnezzar, and stubborn enemies, stubborn pursuers, stubborn pharaoh, was left, when they left Israel, Israel could not fulfill their divine destiny at all. But could not serve God. Therefore, this is a serious issue that we have to deal with tonight as it affects our ability to fulfill our destiny. I pray that the Lord will step into your situation and help every one of us overcome stop on Joshua and help every one of us overcome all the Pharaoh that is hassling your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Who are stop on Joshua? You may ask, who are the stop on Joshua? Stop on Joshua, number one, there are powers that block your way. There are powers this stubborn pursuer, there are powers that block your way. And they say no to your prosperity. And they say no to your breakthrough. And they, and they want to uh, pervert and prevent you from moving forward in life. You want to make progress, those powers say no. You want to go and serve the Lord, those powers say no. You want to have deliverance and the stubborn pursuer, Pharaoh, Oh, they, they, they will stand before you. Number two, this is someone for sure. There are powers that are standing between you and your breakthrough. 
Here you are, God has given you a promise. And here you are, there's a breakthrough before you. The some of you for sure, there are powers that stand before you. And your breakthrough, number three, this some of for sure, there are powers that pursue you in your dream. Sometimes you sleep in the night. You see some masquerade pursuing you. Sometimes you see snake pursuing you in your dream. Sometimes you see something animal rolling after you, pursuing you, and you are running and running, and you are, and you are running. And they want to take your destiny away from you. These are powers that pursue people. And today, those powers will collapse in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. There are powers that want to waste your glorious destiny that God has for you. There are powers. They want to waste your glorious destiny. I call these people stubborn. They are so stubborn. They will not give up. Even when Israel came back from Egypt, Pharaoh did not give up. Even after your salvation, he will not give up. After your deliverance, he will not give up. After your prosperity, he will not give up. Even after your marriage, Satan will not give up after your marriage. He will keep pursuing you. But tonight, as we pray together, every power pursuing you, the Lord will overthrow them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There are the powers that program evil appointments for you. There are powers that program evil appointments. You don't understand? They program evil appointments. And sometimes you discover something you are expecting supposed to happen. And this appointment is called with rejection, failure, division, shame, and untimely death. They throw arrow at somebody. I want to tell you, arrows fly in the day every day. Every blessed day, the Bible talks about the arrows that fly in the day. They throw mm -hmm. arrows of high blood pressure, and that thing hit somebody, and then they took the person to visit you, and they say they have high blood pressure. It's an arrow, it's an arrow. But, but, but they will not say it's demonic. They will, not, they, will not, they will program that thing so that that arrow will hide under high blood pressure. It will hide under tuberculosis. It will hide under asthma. And people will say it's asthma. It's this. It was a program of disappointment, a program of something dead. Every arrow shot against your life. It will not manifest. The Lord will frustrate all those arrows in Jesus' name. Amen. And your Pharaoh, what wherever they are, the Lord will throw every Pharaoh of your life that is flowing hard over your life. God will throw them down in Jesus' yeah. name. The Bible says, the Bible says in Psalm 18, verse 48, He delivered me from my enemy. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent men. David proclaimed that God has delivered him. From the stubborn and violent men. This violent men being referred to in this chapter was as um, Saul. As soon as Saul came against David, David became one, he became a, a wanted man. And David had already been anointed by Saul as king of Israel. He was anointed to sit on the throne. Friend, hear me as I hear from the Lord. Every stop of Joshua that says you will not be settled in your destiny, the hand of the Lord God against them in Jesus' name. Amen. And every stop of Joshua that says you will not find space in your life, in your health, in your breakthrough, let the hand of the Lord strike them down. Mm. Every man that Amen. says you will not be free enough to sit on your throne and wear your crown, the angel of the Lord will begin to pursue them, even from tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. As, I'm, as I'm giving a prophetic prayer, I want to hear your loudest Amen. Amen. How can a man be selected by heaven to sit upon the throne but hang up in the cave? Because of stubborn Joshua. How can a man be destiny for the throne but hang up running from pause, from pillar to pause? Because of stubborn Joshua. Hear me as I hear from the Lord. Every stubborn Joshua. That say you will not enjoy God's goodness 
in the land of the living. Let the earth come against them and let the earth swallow every one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, then you belong Amen. to the company of those who have moved from wandering to possess your possession. If Jesus has redeemed you, then you have no business moving about amnesty like a sheep without a shepherd. If Jesus has saved you and you will move from property, to fulfillment. If Jesus has saved you, no power on earth will keep you away from what God has destined for you. Because tonight, you are going to celebrate in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want you to come before the Lord right now. Come before the Lord. I want you to ask for the mercy of the Lord. Speak for mercy into your life. Pray. We are going to pray now. Men and brethren, I have told you so long tonight. I have told you that we are praying against the storm of Joshua. And that is why you must come before the Lord tonight and ask the mercy of God to speak for me tonight. Pray tonight for God has mercy upon me. Let the mercy speak for me. Let the mercy come to me. Have mercy upon me. Come upon the Lord. Come upon the Lord. I will have mercy upon me. I will ask mercy of God. Let the mercy speak for you. All of the Lord. All by yourself with the blood of Jesus. All by yourself with the blood of Jesus. Because every storm of Joshua will fall out of your life. Every storm of Joshua that is after your business, after your family, after your
and the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what cometh this to do? And he speak, saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah. These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to pass, to cast out their horns of the Gentiles. They are some spiritual carpenters. Here is the Kayas Joy Edition. He said, the Lord showed him four carpenters. And he said, who are these? I did not know. And the Lord said, these are the horns that scatter Judah. You are going to pray. Hey, every warfare, prepare for your life, for your family, for your marriage, for your ministry, social life. Every warfare, the enemy has prepared ahead of you. You are going to ask the Lord, oh God, scatter them. Oh God, scatter them. Oh God, oh, scatter them. That God will scatter all the capital with the horns they carry that to the carry to watch a warfare against you. Ask the Lord to scatter them. Call upon the law. Call upon the law. These are the horns that scatter Judah. Spiritual horns, the enemy to scatter your blessings. Let God scatter them. All their coven. Let God scatter their coven. All their evil altar, the God scatter their evil altar. Call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord. And whatever the enemy is using to scatter your blessings, whatever the enemy is using to protect your life, whatever the enemy is using to oppress your life, all their weapons they are using to bring you down, all their weapons they are using to frustrate you, all their weapons they are using, let the power of God scatter them. Let their own blood, let their own flesh. Jesus name. Send for that prayer upon the Lord for my soul in the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shall be scattered. They shall be scattered. They shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord show me for carpenters. And the Lord said, these, these, uh, these are the horns which have scattered Judah. These are the horns, those horns scattered Judah. Whatever is scattering your life, whatever is scattering your spiritual life, your family life, your ministerial life, ask the Lord God Almighty to scatter them. Ask the Lord God Almighty to scatter them. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight you must be a people of Joshua that are pursue you to this place. All the path to arrange, God will scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Stop them before they stop you. If That's you don't right. stop the activity of this double pursuer, if you don't pervert their activity, if you don't destroy their activity, my brother, my sister, you, you are not doing well. Because they are so stubborn. When Israel left Egypt, Pharaoh go hard after them. The magicians still go after them. The 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 horsemen of, of Egypt and their sharrows and their horsemen and the men of war, they still go hard after them. Here you are, you say you are born again. And you don't want to take this this um this prayer section serious. I want to announce to you, don't be surprised when the enemy begin to pursue you back. They are pursuing you. You must fight. You must fight. Mm. Let me let me let me show you a report of what the enemy said. Let me just read a report to you. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9. Listen to me. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9. The Bible says, And the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide their spoil. For loss shall be satisfied upon them. And I will draw my soul, my hand shall destroy them. This was the report of the enemy. This was their evil report against the people of God. They said, I will pursue. Hmm. I will overtake. And I will divide their spoil. And here you are meditating. You are not praying. I pity you. Don't use, off- don't use defensive weapon only. Use offensive weapon. We have two weapons. We have defensive weapon and o- offensive weapon. If you are not defending yourself, the blood of Jesus. Defending yourself, they will not trust you. Defending yourself, you are not doing well. That is 
weapon we are looking at her offensive weapon and i'm believing god tonight that all the enemies that are born that they are going to overtake you the lord the lord will overtake them in jesus name amen, amen. stop them before they stop you stop the affliction they are bringing before that affliction stop you stop the sudden death the calculated death they are praying against you before that death terminate your life and i decree you will not die in jesus name amen, amen. the bible says you're going to pray oh god pursue my pursuer amen. oh god those that trouble me you shall trouble them all those who pursue me and any power, any personality, and anyone that have been professional with Satan, they will not give up until they first have God in their life. Oh God, command destruction upon them. Call upon the Lord, be a man or a spirit, wherever they are. And after your life spiritually, they want you to commit spiritual suicide. They are after you physically, they are after you maritally. They are after after everything about your marriage. As they are walking towards that, as they are walking towards that, the power of the Lord will cross them. The power of the Lord will cross them. The Lord will pursue my pursuer. Oh God, stop them. Pursue, pursue my pursuer. Those who are after me spiritually. Oh God, oh God, believe. Deliver me from those that are stronger than me. Deliver me from those that are stronger than me. Let God deliver you from those who are stronger than you. Power to set me free, Holy Ghost, that I by your power. Let me take you. Oh, my God, pursue my pursuit. And rise and fight for me tonight. For my family, anywhere they get together. They throw arrow of tuberculosis. You are you are accommodating that. They throw arrow of affliction. You are still accommodating it. The Lord will change me. His power must change her tonight. Power must change her tonight. Power must change her tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Listen to me. You must not accommodate affliction. Listen to me. You must not accommodate sickness. Listen to me. You must not accommodate um, sorrows. You must not accommodate uh, diabetes. You must not accommodate sudden death. Listen to me. The Bible says it is a righteous thing with God. This is a scripture I'm reading to you. It's scripture. It's in the Bible. It is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation with them that trouble you. It's in the Bible. New Testament uh-huh. in the Bible. It is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation with them that trouble you. All those who are troubling your head, troubling your family. Trouble, in fact, they want you to die spiritually. They want to kill you spiritually. Take your power away, your sea away, your fire away, your anointing away, and they want to kill you physically. But the Lord says, the Lord says, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation with them that trouble you. You are going to pray. Any man or woman, spirit or ghost, that is hunting after your precious souls, that is hunting after your precious life, that is hunting after your family, spiritually, physically, materially, financially, oh God, trouble them. Afflict them. Oh, God, you must have and call upon the Lord. Oh, God, afflict them and trouble them. It is a righteous thing with God to recompense to bless with them that trouble you. How can you accommodate and make sure you say it is the will of God? They give people tuberculosis, they say the will of God. It's not the will of God for you to have tuberculosis. High blood pressure is not the will of God for your life. That is the will of God for your life. All the arrow that sent to you, you send it back to them. Whatever that drop for you at the dark, whatever that drop for you spiritually, they close to you and throw it back to them. It is a righteous thing with God to recompense the population with them that trouble you. Those that drop for your household, that for your family and life, that trouble your health, God shall trouble them. In the name of Jesus, I start to fire. 
I have to be very fast because I have some prayer requests to, 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 to present, but follow me, please, as the Lord permits me. Pharaoh was working against the deliverance and breakthrough of the children of Israel. And when they came out of Egypt, he's so stubborn. This is not for sure. They will still go after you. Even though you say you are born again, you share testimony. You have children. You have wife. God give you a better job. Things are working. Let me tell you something. They will still go after you. They will not rest. And that is why you must pray this prayer. You must pray this prayer that whatever Pharaoh is work, using, whatever Pharaoh is working, you still working against you. Whatever weapons you are using, you know Pharaoh has the magicians. They have the magicians in his in his palace. The 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 all the men are there, and all the all the evil uh, uh, things that have been over there in Egypt. They have all those things. That they are using against him. Before God, whatever Pharaoh is using, using to work against him. John, uh, you have you have been seeing him on the platform. Uh, he has some challenges. He's not able to walk very well, and uh, a lot of you saw you saw the prayer request the, the young man has been putting on 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 our, on our platform. You understand? He cannot walk very well, and the spinal the, the spinal cord has been affected. It has been shifted, and and all that. We are going to pray that God will reposition. Amen. 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 Amen.
one more prayer point before I round up. Let's pray for our pastor, Pastor Bart. God will touch you. He has a swelling leg and oh, he up and then he cannot be able to go to work for some, some days now. Let's pray for him. The Lord will touch him and heal him. Let's all those who have to do and see. Let God heal them. Take the disease away. away. Take the disease away. The Bible says he's our healer. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's call upon the Lord. The Lord will heal them and set them free. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. As, as I brought this series to a hand today, overcoming stubborn pursuer. By God's grace, next week I will be starting a new series next week again. And for those of us who have not been connecting on our Thursday pray, prayer online, please I want to encourage you always connect because God is still working our means. I call on Pastor Pastor Yomi. Pastor Yomi, please, can you just help me round up the prayer for me, please? Pastor Yomi. Holy Father, we are grateful unto you. What a night. Amen. A night of mighty deliverance. A night of supernatural Amen. emancipation. We saw it clearly as your servant Amen. to us. How the children of Israel were Amen. delivered. They were delivered because you showed yourself so mighty and so powerful. And we saw it. And according to A.W. Toga, that anything you are able to do at any time, you can still do now. Anything mm. you are able to do anywhere, you can do here. And anything you are able to do for any man, you can do for all. If you did this for the children of Israel, ours cannot be an exception. Tonight, all the in our lives are mercilessly, and mercilessly dealt with. We are forever dealt with Amen. Name God, amen. Declare deliverance, deliverance upon every life who have connected tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 And all, all sorts of stoning pursuers who are saying, Never over my dead body, I will not leave you. Of course, they will see their dead bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. my body, the mark of Christ. As from yes. today onward, our deliverance and emancipation mm. shall. There will be mighty testimony from this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, whatever is wrong with the spinal cord or any part of the body that is causing him not to walk, I ask, oh God, with the combined anointing in the house, that you begin to walk upon his health now. Begin to walk Amen. upon his health. Amen. Amen. Have a supernatural intervention tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 give you that which you desire. The Lord give you that Amen. of faith. Amen. And let them be upon the prayer we are praying tonight. Your servant whom we are using every Thursday. Virtues have gone out. Replenish him, O God. And bless him in return. Thank you, Amen. Lord, for the answer. In Thank Jesus' you, name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, Let's just pray. Our time has gone. Let us just pray for Pastor Ali that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to protect his family. Almighty God will continue to be with his family. Amen. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, the, 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 uh, the arm of evil will not touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Will Amen. not touch Amen. evil Amen. in the name Amen. of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for his family. Let's pray for our donors. That by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God will continue to provide for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not tire. Almighty God will continue to bless them, will continue to bless their children in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of giving by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to give to all our children in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to increase them in all what by their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Let pray for our. Jesus, Christ, 
when God promotes us, He promotes our pastor. When God promotes us, He promotes the church of their Lord. When God promotes us, He promotes me. He promotes me. And so long, God will use us as God will use us as the standard that God will use to bring more people to the platform, to the prayer of the church of Jesus Christ. Not upon the name of that Lord, that by the power that God is going to use me, that God is going to use you as you go to bring more people into the prayer of God. When you pray then, what is the advantage? The advantage is that they are being delivered. The advantage is that they are being called to pray in the word of the Lord. The advantage is that they are, they are not allowed to pray. The advantage that you are engaged with the God pray. So that is the advantage when you bring people to call upon the name of the Lord, that God will use you. And that you know we will be blessed for the people to be put our program. The other people are still seeing them online in the name of Jesus Christ. And you yourself will be no tired. You have no you you have no new way, but the power and the blood of Jesus Christ will be talk to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you. The mighty hand of the Lord will be sufficient for you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Over to you, Bapak Alika. Pray for every one of us. By the grace of the Lord, we will see the significance of today's prayer in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over to you, sir. Amen. Uh, I, thank you so much, Pastor Matthew. We do appreciate you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, Father, we thank you because you are the ancient of days, the I am that I am, the greater that the greatest, the unbeatable, the unchangeable, the unreservable, the almighty, the God that never lose any battle. In fact, the Bible says you are a man of war. We that we are your children, we are not we are not civilians. We are soldiers. And because we are soldiers, we stand in our authority. We stand under the mandate of God upon our life. Every stubborn pursuer that refuse to uh, that refuse to let your people to enjoy their freedom they have in Christ. I pray tonight. May the host of heaven cross them and throw them down in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whatever they be the spiritual shame in that person's leg, in that person's life, anytime you want to uh, move more spiritually, they are so focused, pulling you down, pulling you back, pulling you back. And you know it's over yourself that those things just slip away from your hand. That spirit has tied against you of darkness. That spirit that has tied against you. I rebuke the forces of that spirit. I bind that forces. Amen. And I throw that spirit down Amen. out of your way from tonight. I decree in your life, you sister over there, you shall begin to enjoy complete freedom and progress in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. As for you, my brother, that you are having health challenges over the years, I send Jesus Amen. for your life. Amen. I pray Amen. for you tonight. All the affliction in your life, may the Lord heal you, may the Lord deliver you, may the Lord vibrate you, may the Lord lift up your head in Jesus' name. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake. Anyone physically, spiritually, maritally, socially, secularly, that is after any of your children of this prayer conference. From today, I stop their activity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And I decree, and I declare under God's mandate, my sister, from tonight, that bad dream of fear, that sudden fear in your life, that fear that somebody, not ordinary fear, is a demonic fear. That fear that has trapped against you, that spirit of fear, I command that spirit to leave your life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoy your liberty. Amen. Enjoy Amen. your dominion. Enjoy Amen. your freedom. Amen. And as that pastor, as pastor you, you may have said that you bear the mark of the Lord Jesus in your body, the mark of force not upon your family, the Amen. mark of force not Amen. upon your business, Amen. the mark of force not Amen. upon your children. Amen. And I pray for Amen. every parent here, God will give you the grace, give me the grace. Go from strength to strength, from power to power, and so shall it be. Thank you, Father, for the answer. As we 
more unconsecrated for the hour of victory, more victory, more Amen. dominion, Amen. more power, Amen. more articulated leadership in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, please, before we share the grace, if you are not on the prayer request platform, prayer request through, prayer request and other uh, platform we have, please let me know so that I can add you to those platforms so that you can connect it and share the correct information about our online program. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless Amen. you. Thank you so much. Some more anointing and grace upon your life in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. God bless you. Good night, sir.